Um, Zizi are actually my pronouns. What are we making up words now? They are a non-binary expression. Um, for people who don't resonate with they them because not everyone does. There are other ones as well, such as Fay Femme, and uh, many people have reasons for why they would prefer to go by an alternative. I have my own, and I will be doing my own explanation video on my TikTok later in the week. But for now, um, yeah, they're just my pronouns, and they are what I go by as a non-binary person. I don't know what any of that means. But it sounds f***ing retarded. <laughs> so there's not a whole lot that needs to be said about that first clip we just saw. So let me tell you guys real quick what's been going on here. We just got absolutely blasted with about a foot and a half of snow from a spring blizzard up here in northern New England. So I've spent the past few days without power, without Wi-Fi, shoveling and snow blowing, and basically in full survival mode. So as you can imagine, I am exhausted. However, I have an obligation to keep you guys updated on the happenings of Clown World, and we have a lot to catch up on. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So this individual with the thicker five o'clock shadow than I could ever dream of growing in is Julia. Now, I know this may come as a shock to many of you, but Julia is a biological man who identifies as a trans woman and calls himself a transbian or trans lesbian. Now, Julia frequents both lesbian dating apps as well as ladies' restrooms. Huh? What the f***? What the f*** is wrong with you? What the f*** is wrong with you? Okay. Let's keep this party rolling with this lovely lady who not only has a Biden-Harris pin on her jersey, but she also has a little figurine of Trump in an orange jumpsuit that says lock him up. Does she not know that he hasn't been convicted of any jailable offenses as of right now? And listen, don't get it twisted. Let this be your reminder. If you didn't take the, uh, bleh, the Fauci sauce, if you happen to be voting for Trump, if you don't think men should be in women's restrooms, if you don't agree with the whole climate change agenda, basically. If you don't walk in lockstep with the leftist cult, these people will be more than happy to see you thrown in jail. And after this clip, you're going to see she's not the only one. Roll it. Okay, women, it's up to us and the men who love us. This is what we have to do. We have to lock him up. I'm not kidding. His bond is from a guy who has given him now about $400 million and claims, ooh, I didn't even know I gave him one of those $120 million. What? This is sneaky and we have it on good authority that the DOJ ought to be looking into the Congress people that want to help him. We have to lock him up. Vote for Biden, vote for Harris. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. A few moments later. Oh, oh yeah, huh? everybody, Pennsylvania! Yeah. We're in the house. Yeah. Crosstown yeah. traffic! Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, you have to get out and register to vote. And you have to vote, vote. for Biden vote. Harris! Yeah. Because that other guy, the orange man, the orange man, like this, he is going to take away your social security. And a lot of you are. No, he's a bad. Oh, dude. I need both. No, he's your, <laughs> That's right. Don't take and away And he's going to take away your health care because kids right now, until they're 26, can be on their parents' health care. And the orange man wants to stop that. Woo! Oh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, everybody, Pennsylvania in the house. Hey, vote for Biden, vote for Harris. But there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers out there. There's a lot of dumb, dumb motherfuckers out there. Wow. That was tough to watch.
anyway real quick i just wanted to let you guys know that if you're enjoying the videos you like the content you want to help support the channel and you want to piss off that room full of shit lib joe biden voters grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it and here it is the revenge tour 2024 mugshot t-shirt now this is the most famous mugshot in the history of all mugshots so if you want to grab yourself a little piece of history there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below i also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well Nice, very nice. All right, next up we have this young lady who identifies as pansexual and says she doesn't want to be fertile. She doesn't want the slightest chance of pregnancy happening. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Roll it. It's not breasts and a uterus that makes a woman a woman. It's not a penis or an Adam's apple that makes a man a man. It's how a person feels and identifies that makes a person gender. Gender is a social construct anyway. However, I do not want mine. I don't want a uterus or any part of my body that is involved with reproduction. I don't want to be fertile or have the slightest possibility of pregnancy happening. I don't really want my breasts either. They're in the way and they garner too much attention from men, especially at places like Dragon Con. I fantasize about wearing a skimpy female superhero shirt without my boobs to distract the men and get in the way. I am pansexual, a form of transgender. What did you say? What the f did you just say? It's not breasts and a uterus that makes a woman a woman. It's not a penis or an Adam's apple that makes a man a man. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. All right, next up we have this individual who is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman talking about a cis man hitting on him. Roll it. I don't get it. You know, a minute before that I told you I'm a transgender woman, you chase after me, you asked me my number, you was like, oh my God, I want you to be a happiest girl in the world. I want to be your man. And then I said, you know, oh, I'm a transgender woman. And he's like, oh, hell no. Run! All right, next up, so this person who is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman claims that people say, hi, ma'am, when he walks out in public. Mm, I'm not buying it. Roll it. You look like a man. You'll never be a woman. Look at me. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm already succeeding as being a woman. People say, hello, ma'am, when I, like, walk out in public. This is what I look like. This is pretty damning evidence against me being a man. I look like a woman and I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not using any filters. I just look like this and I look like a woman. And that's the end of the story. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Now, I know some of you are going to think this next clip is a parody skit. But I assure you, it's not. It's 100% real. It was filmed by Frontlines, powered by Turning Point USA. This isn't from Saturday Night Live or the Babylon Bee. Now meet Stephanie, a real public defender in a real municipal courtroom in Seattle. Of course. Of course. Roll it. Oh, let me check on that. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking A6, A45? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. works for me. All right. Do I need to sign anything? No. Nope. I'm just out of here. My comment about my client, yeah, I just met her. She's really nice. She's really smart. Whoa, you have a deep voice. She sounds like she's got the right idea about things. I really support what she's up to, and I think it's fabulous. How about that? God, it, do you, she's accused of, what is it, criminal trespass? In the first degree, yes. Is she innocent or guilty? She's innocent, of course. She's innocent, okay. Well, she's caught on video being arrested and protesting and allegedly protesting. Uh -huh. in front of so I'm trying to get all sides. So well, I my client has pled not guilty. My name is Stephanie Mueller. 
I'm in the uh, directory for the Washington State Bar Association. You can look me up. Okay. Stephanie, thank you for your time. At this point, it, your client is being arraigned, though. It's all just happened. It, her, her hearing is over. Got it. It's done. All right. Do you know when her next court date is? I do. do you, I'd like to maybe just keep tabs if they're... Uh... Uh-huh. I think that's a great idea. Do you, could you tell me when that is? No. Oh, Take okay. care. Thank you, Stephanie. My name is Stephanie Mueller. I'm in the uh, directory for the Washington State Bar Association. You can look me up. Are you mocking me with that outfit? Hey, real quick, be real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen. Now, we've seen this young lady here on the channel before. She has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on surgeries and fillers and implants and such to look like that. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by our great friend, Deshaun Charles. You will recognize him in the comment section as The Shizzle. Deshaun, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, sir. I really appreciate the continued love and support. So once again, today's video sponsor is Deshaun Charles. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. All right, get this off the screen. She almost looks like Jigsaw from the horror movie Jigsaw. Oof. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? All right, guys, here's a throwback from a few years ago, and I actually think I played this clip here on the channel. Like I said, it's been a few years. Now, I wonder if there's any way we could go back and see if all these people are still with us. You know, all the people that made these TikToks about taking the, uh, bleep, the Fauci sauce. Roll it. This girl is on Pfizer! This girl is on Pfizer! She's hopped up on Pfizer! This girl is on Pfizer! All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this clip of New York City Mayor Eric Adams just gaslighting, actually blatantly lying to the people of New York. Now, I'm sure you guys remember just about a month ago when New York Governor Kathy Hochul put the National Guard in the New York subway system because crime was out of control. Well, Mayor Eric Adams says here that the New York City subway system is the safest on the globe. Now, I'm going to read you guys my favorite quote from George Orwell's novel, 1984. And it fits perfectly, perfectly with what we're about to hear from Mayor Adams. The quote is, The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys. So please, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Can we please stop saying we're up in crime in our subway system? We are not. We're down in crime in the subway system. Bringing transit crime down overall for the year 2024, that's what we've done this quarter. And let me repeat this again. Transit crime is down. Our public transit, trans, transit system, especially our subway system, is the lifeblood of our city. I said it over and over again, and New Yorkers are safe on our subway system. I'm down there talking to the passengers, communicating with them, and many of them keep saying over and over again as we move through the subway system, they say to me, Eric, can people stop saying we're unsafe down here? It's the best subway system on the globe, and we're the safest on the globe. What did you say? It's the best subway system on the globe, and we're the safest on the globe. It's a damn lie, and you know it! And you ain't black.